Hey guys, welcome back to another Road to Rank 1. So last video we ended up at rank 26 with 1529 points. So hopefully in this video we can get a few wins and move into the top 20. I hope you guys enjoy this series where I push for rank 1 in 1v1. If you guys do like this this series, let me know in the comments uh, if you prefer this over my, my modded maps and stuff. Uh, but let's just keep going through this. If you guys want to see more of this, I'll try to push out more videos for you guys. Enjoy. That's a quick change up. That's a really hard shot to do. Oh, we got our first game. We got Expert. He's 1456. Pretty good player. Gonna play with him recently on stream. Try a bit of a slower kickoff. So just got on. Hopefully, we can do a little bit of a warm up here. The ball really high. I think I have to have an awkward touch back to me. Let the ball bounce a little bit. He's gonna watch for the demo. There we go. So I can have to stop. The second he stops on the line there, I can just take a shot. The reason why I jumped before that was that he might come demo me. So it deters him from uh, coming towards me a little bit. There we go. Just fake that. Can't get the boost though. Stay annoying. Should be able to stay with it. Get this boost from him so he can't use it in mid. They have a heavy touch. Get the boost. See so he does when he leaves. Have an awkward touch. He might bump me. Ooh. Doesn't quite have full boost yet, but he used that touch to to go for the boost. Go for a touch here. Let's do a late flip. That way I can stay with the ball. I think I'm going to have to make a save. That way he has very little boost. We'll probably try to stay with this ball. That way it forces him out with no boost. Should be alright. Should really get this mid boost. I might take my corner, but he's pretty slow. Pretty hard chip. It's pretty high bounce though. Oh, could be a goal for him. Ugh. No, it was bad by me. So he, he ended up uh, putting the ball too far away from himself, but then I, I should have jumped into it instead of what I did there. It's a pretty heavy touch. Do a little bit of a slower kickoff. Way out of the play, I probably just chip this towards the net. Hopefully it's fast enough. He does have a save. That was a pretty good touch. It went off the post. Oh, he went for me. That was a good play. That was pretty smart. He saw that he chipped the ball towards the net, and then he just came after me. Probably shouldn't have jumped so early. I was probably going to attack that ball at the time where I had the chance to. Which are pretty good. Pretty high shot. Maybe a pretty good save. It's a good chip. Just going to double jump. Make sure I get near that ball. Oh, he went early. It's pretty smart of him. Go for a 50. It's not quite fast enough. I shouldn't have shot that right away. It's alright. He's going to throw it to the corner. Put it around him. Maybe I can score this. Oof. Pretty slow, but he ended up pre-jumping a little bit off my shot. I tried to get a chip with the 12 boost I had. It was pretty, pretty close. He's panicked a little bit. Not the greatest play maybe so far this game, but it is my first game on. Woo! Speaking of first game on, holy, I almost missed that <laughs> that goal. But it's a pretty close game. Uh, he's got solid kickoffs. I'm just basically trying to change it up every time. See if I can throw him off. So once again, we get the possession here. That's why I do that kickoff, because it actually ends up giving me possession. Uh, Scrub, you sh uh, recently talked about uh, his kickoffs and how... Um, the slow kickoff doesn't really work, but I don't, I, don't, I don't really agree with that. I think it can work. Take it over here. I'm surprised he jumped to that. Pretty aggressive. He's gonna go for the corner. 
go for the boost, kill him a little bit. Take this mid boost as well. Oh, I'll try to get the dunk. He's pretty low, but I'll be able to get the goal here. He might have missed. He did miss. He has to wait. Him waiting there actually gives me the boost. Also get a turn though. Pretty smart of him to catch that. I him to just leave because he had no boost. So he got the corner actually. So he might probably has more than I think. Probably could have just turned around. Got a better touch. It's a good touch. Might stay with this. Stay with the ball here and the boost. It's a good demo. Could be a goal. Alright, we spawned pretty well here. It's a good 50. Take the boost. He's pretty low now. Got the mid boost. It's not good. It's not a good pop. Take it to the corner. He's going to have a uh, 100 boost from that corner. Pretty bad play by me. Should be able to kill on him. Turn it in here. I don't like that he spawned on that side. Because it makes it a little bit more awkward for me. That's a quick change up. That's a really hard shot to do. Uh, you can speed up the ball pretty well by uh, getting that last touch off the flick. Looked like I was going to go top left. I ended up scooping to the right. That's pretty smart. I meant to just hit it right side with the last flick, but it ended up going even stronger uh, than I expected. He's taking the mid boost, which means he's going to be behind the ball. Let's take the ball across. He fakes a lot of the challenges. I need to be ready for that. So right, 10 seconds left. Hopefully we can hold on to it. Let's go for the demo. Let's stay with this. He's going to challenge again, maybe? He fake challenge again, so he has to hold on to this ball the whole time. I'm going to fake the challenge. Oh, that was close. That was a good play, though. Not the greatest game. A little bit shaky by me, but... Once again, we do get seven points, so it's not a bad game. We got 15, 36, or maybe 37, depending on the score line or the, uh, the decimals. And against all odds, it's actually 15, 35. So you know what? I'm going to stop even guessing what the points are going to be because it doesn't even make any sense anymore. One eternity later. All right, after seven minutes of queuing, we finally found a game. I think we've played this guy before in this Road to Rank 1. Well, obviously, I've pretty much played every 1v1 game uh, this season on this, this Road to Rank 1. So, uh, it hasn't been too many games. I think we've only been played, we've only played about, what, probably 40 games total. But we're, uh, I think I just checked, we're at Rank 22. It's pretty good. I saw Scrubs in the top 10 now, so I think he, I don't know what episode he's on, but he's doing pretty well. Got it past him. I'm gonna wait for the bounce because I got lots of time. The guy overcommitted, so once you have that that time to take the extra shot, just let it happen. Don't don't rush it. Don't try and push up to it because you might hit the crossbar or something or the the post. Use the use the time you have wisely. It's like one thing that one v one teaches you a lot is just to be patient. I don't really want to cut here since uh, I have low boost. I wait for him to lose possession a little bit. So I wait for him to make that that rough touch. And then I can fake this. See what he does. He doesn't he doesn't think that I'm gonna go early like that? So also could be a shot. He's gonna panic. I want to throw it away. He's gonna get the boost for me for me here, which is fine. Now has possession on the ball. 69. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. It's fine. Give me the ball. Woo. Stay with it here. He does here. It's a good touch. It's a good play too. I was pretty dumb of me. I like I let the ball roll down the wall too much before I flicked. I should have just flicked it to threaten him to go back. And then once he got that backflip, I was too far, far over positioned. Rookie mistake by me there. Got the boost for me too. Should be all right though. He does have possession, but I've conditioned him to go early on those. Oh, he's out of, play. out of the play. I didn't realize he was so far out of the play. I was just going to catch that or like wait for his 50, but he, I don't know what happened. Maybe he backflips. Yeah, he was totally in the air. 
I just went early on that one because if you go early enough that you can threaten that you might go, uh, you can cause them to overthink. Same with these. Bad touch though. That's fine. Once again, I just see that he's going to go, so I just go early on it. He's got the, the uh, boost disadvantage there. He doesn't have very much boost, so if I jump up early enough and get the, the pop, then uh, I'll beat him for sure. So he wasted all of his boost at the end there. And in doing so, I know that he's going to be stuck with this overcommit as well. Uh, super far down the field, so I just have time to take that slow shot. There we go. Finish it off. Once again, overcommitted by him. He was super far out of the play. I think he probably needed to come back right away with the, with the way that that ball was positioned. I did turn it in pretty well, but still uh, probably could have recovered, made a play. I'm actually going to touch this to the other side. That's all right. Should be okay. Doesn't matter what side I spawn here. I'm not going to go for the boost though, because I don't have time. It's a good play. It's a good pop. I really shouldn't have uh, pushed up on that little mid line there. I had enough boost to sit on the goal line without it being too threatening. I didn't want to leave too much space for him though. Be right. Be waiting for the shot. So I get a 50 50 out so I can get the boost. Yeet! Oh, it's not far enough. Come here. Get the ball. That's fine. Threw the ball away. It's a pretty bad touch by me. That's a really over really bad overcommit by him though. So I pinch it across. That's a good play. I thought I was gonna get a 50-50 off the ball if he backflip like that, but it ended up going over my head. Once again, pretty dumb play, but first two games of the day. This is what happens when I uh, don't really warm up. I make dumber decisions. I think my decision making warms up with my brain. I mean, that, I mean with my mechanics, which kind of makes sense, I guess. It's a good shot too. So a bit of a poor 50-50 off the kickoff. Booms the ball a little bit too high. I probably could have just stayed with the ball. I had enough boost. Interesting. He went super fast. Almost missed the ball. Help him out a little bit. Could be able to kill him if he goes for the ball. Which he does, or for the boost, I mean. And we get a free goal. So he tried to do a fast kickoff to outplay me, but in that situation, I'm s I am play so slow on those that I'll just recover and get around the ball anyway, so. Just like that. I don't know why people say that those slow kickoffs are inconsistent, because uh, the way I do it, it seems to be pretty consistent for me. If I'm not thinking too much about it, then yeah, it booms up to the ceiling, but that's uh, that's on me, not the, the type of kickoff. You see, it works just well enough almost every time, as long as I'm thinking about it. In 1v1, you can't let it slip. You can't uh, you can't let your brain slip at all. I mean, that's the same with... Uh... Oh, no. See? Can't let your... They can't let it slip. That's not good. It's going to be a goal, too. And I wave dash. Nice. Um, you can't let yourself slip. Your mind has to be constantly thinking about what you want to do. Once again, that was a situation where I had more time. Could have got around the, the ball a little more. Yet, I move it into the crossbar or the post. It's okay, we get the goal back anyway. So we're right. This game is kind of silly because uh, he's 13 26, which is literally 209 points away. Yeah, 209 points away from my score. So he's basically uh, going to give me one point here for this win. So I'm just going to make sure I don't lose 16 for it at, for the loss. That's pretty much the only thing that I'm worried about. Bring it across. There we go. He's very low boost. I took all the boost. There we go. Just fake him out. And it's a free goal for us. So yeah. Pretty pretty common game uh, against a player of this, this MMR. Is I just throw myself out of the game for no reason. See, the fast kickoff doesn't really work. Except he does. He does get the touch there. That was pretty bad by me at the end. I could have probably gotten the way. I still don't think uh, the slow kickoff is really what's causing the problem there. I'm thinking he's trying like the super musty speed speed kickoff. He goes for this, I'm gonna try and block it. There we go. Take it back corner. Could have maybe went in my net, but it's a low chance. Got a nice little flick. He'll go for the ball. If he goes for the ball, I get a free ball possession and boost. I should have flip canceled there. Get a kill on him. And uh, it's open. 
10 to 6. Not a bad scoreline. Get away from me. Apparently, you guys like the Road to 1v1 series. I mean, rank 1 in the 1v1 series. Uh, it's because it does the best on my channel right now. So, I don't know if I want to be making custom maps right now. Or what. But I'll just, I guess I'll just keep doing these because you guys like them. Uh, they're not very difficult for me to record. It's just 1v1 games back to back to back. But I guess you like hearing how I'm talking about the game and whatever else. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see more. Uh, the competitive stuff right now or or, or the uh, the custom app. Because I got the standard drop shot coming out soon. Um, I got to sort out a few things before it's fully ready. I'm trying to see if it could become a limited time mode or something. That'd be really cool. I don't know if you guys would like that too. I'd uh, be able to play it with like randoms in ranked or something. Or not ranked, but just like a casual playlist. Like sort of how like they have the boomer mode right now, which might be gone by the time this video is out. Actually, it totally will be. But I don't know. I put a lot of work on my maps and some of them just don't do well. I actually got three points that, that game. That's pretty good. 1538. Yeah, I'd like to hear what you guys want to see more on the channel. I just want to cater to you guys. I don't mind either way. Um, 1v1s do stress me out sometimes, but it's not a big deal. A much faster queue this time, but we got Expert from the first game of the video. Um, it seems like he's played one or two games before. I missed that boost. It's not good. That could be detrimental to... That could have been detrimental to that goal there. I'm missing that one boost. Okay, I'm going to go for the straightaway here. He was way too far off the line. Didn't challenge me or didn't uh, posture a position to attack. He needs to be a little bit closer or a little bit wider out closer to his goal but him slowing down in the middle of the field gave me that that position on the ball look go right for these two boosts this one and this one pretty hard for him to turn that in so he gave me a free shot here as well he's pretty far out of the game did not have to be too powerful just make sure it's accurate accurate <laughs> and we get the second goal it's a lot better than the first game a little bit more warmed up obviously he could shoot this make sure I don't even that position. Put it around, but he'll get the boost. I'm going to turn around for this one boost. Popped it over me. See he does here. Interesting. He's just waiting for me to challenge, but I don't need to challenge that. It's alright. The ball should be awkward enough that he can't turn on it right away. That's alright as well. I don't want to challenge that since I'm in the corner. It's a pretty bad turn by me. Pretty bad turn again. There we go. Just gets a boost. Pretty wasted possession by him. Could have been a lot worse for us. He put the ball a little bit too far away from his car. And uh, he ends up getting the possession off this, but it could have been a goal. So I'll take it. It's not the worst out, uh, outcome. He's going to try and demo me here. There we go. Get a 50-50. He's pretty overcommitted. Should be a goal, though. Yeah, so that ball, that ball bounced off the top corner, which brings it back towards him. If it hit the backboard and out, it would have been behind his landing. So, a little bit unfortunate. Should have got a better 50-50, though. To end up landing with it. Take the boost. Maybe take a shot since he's out of the play. And there we go. So his poor landing ended up resulting in a goal. I don't think it has anything to do with that kickoff result. Just the way he landed was pretty poor. I'm not exactly sure what he did with his flip. Or the way he landed. To make it happen like that. But it is what it is. I'm going to take an immediate shot here. Because he's pretty far wide. I didn't hear him near the boost. So There we go. Just pop it over him. Should be a goal. Let's keep this up. It's a lot better than the first game. Feeling a little more confident in my touches. Uh, to give the use the space. And we're up 4-1. Still three minutes left, though. In 1v1, as, as you guys all know, anything can happen. Uh, especially with high-level players. It's a good touch. I probably should have went far right with that. Bit of a throwaway. I'll touch this one immediately. I missed. That's a good shot. That's pretty stupid by me. I didn't have to rush that. Um, I was afraid that he would take the early shot. Because he's a little bit, maybe, uh, what's it called? Desperate for a goal. But... We do a change up a little bit slow and we get another free goal <laughs> i don't know why people don't seem to see the uh the slowdown there on that touch but it works out not gonna do it again though because obviously 
He's gonna read it. There we go. The way I the way I flip is what probably makes that kickoff work. There we go. It's a bit of a throwaway. Try to rush it a little bit too much on his touch, on his possession, and it gives the ball right back to me. And he's out. That was a pretty quick uh, three games. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Another th six points. It's pretty good. Uh, should be at 1540. I'm not even going to say it because honestly, it could be any any of those three numbers. <laughs> Let's go check the leaderboard real quick and uh, see where we're at. All right. So we ended up at top 20 with 1545. Pretty good result so far. We're only, uh, what is it? Uh, about 100 and something points. Like not too bad. 117 points. We're pretty close to the top top 10. And uh, hopefully in the next video or so, we can get, uh, get to the top 10 and start pushing up to rank 1. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.